and trucks. Well, welcome back on what was a fantastic Friday. I'm meteorologist Chris Boone filling in for Jay Martin and taking a look at the time lapse. We kind of put this into motion. We saw those higher clouds moving in from the west. That continued throughout much of the day, but it didn't do it much for blocking the sunlight. We had plenty of warmth for much of the area. Temperatures got into the mid-70s, so it was a warm one. And we're looking at the sunset right now, kind of looking at some of those mid and lower clouds starting to creep in from the west. So we're going to continue to watch that as clouds build through the overnight hours. And looking at the satellite and radar, we can still see this swath of clouds over towards the Texas Panhandle and again through the Big Bend. This is going to continue to move towards the east and into the Concho Valley over the next several hours. So we'll see the increasing clouds going through the overnight hours tonight. Temperatures wise, we did get into the 70s. Again, mid 70s, 75 are high, so well above our average of 66. But our overnight lows started out pretty close to average with temperatures in the lower 40s. Again, we'll be watching for those warmer temperatures as we go into tomorrow as well. 74 right now in downtown San Angelo. Dew points in the mid 30s. And again, we'll be watching those light southerly winds at three miles per hour. Fortunately, it hasn't been very breezy, so a very fantastic day to kind of get out and enjoy it. And for much of the area as well, 70s across the area, some upper 60s, 68 in Brady, 65 out in Mason, 70 in Menard, and 71 up in Robert Lee. So again, it was a uh, very comfortable Friday. And again, temperatures slightly above average, but 20 degrees warmer than what we were this time yesterday for much of the area. Again, a bit warmer. And we'll continue that trend even a bit as we go into tomorrow as well. Carpe Diem Day, if you're trying to seize what's left of the day, you know, outdoor plans tonight. Again, temperatures will be into the 60s with light winds and again, that increasing cloud coverage as we go through the overnight hours with the temperatures getting into the lower 50s closer to the midnight hours. And that's when we'll start to watch for some of that fog development. Again, as those temperatures drop and we get an increase of that moisture, we'll be watching again for some of that isolated uh, fog. Overnight lows will be dipping into the 40s, 46, given that increasing cloud coverage. And then tomorrow, early morning, that's when we'll see some of those fog along the river valleys as well as some of the lower lying areas. But by 10 o'clock, that will start to burn off and temperatures will begin to climb up as those skies clear up a bit. Temperatures getting into the upper 70s, maybe even seeing an 80 or two across the area. Your weekend forecast looks pretty good for Saturday. Again, that looks to be the better day for any outdoor plans because by Sunday, we'll start to see some of that cooler air move in. We'll have some isolated thunderstorms. And again, those temperatures dropping as well, only getting into the lower 60s for highs. So looking at the upper level pattern again, We'll be watching for, again, a pretty quiet day for Friday and Saturday. But by Sunday, we start to see that cooler air creeping in from the northwest. That continues going into uh, the start of next week. And that's when we have that trough that comes through our area. That will be increasing those rain chances, not just for sun Sunday, but for Monday as well. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have that trough push off. And a little bit of ridging move in and some warmer temperatures kind of return to the area. So as we time out the chances for these thunderstorms as well as the rain chances, again, we'll be looking for some isolated thunderstorms early on Sunday. Again, very uh, isolated in nature, not a complete washout rather. But as that front continues to move through, that'll move off towards the east. And then we'll be looking at more of the widespread rain event. You're not seeing as many yellows with this and so not, uh, not as much risk for thunderstorms, but more of a widespread rain event. That front pushes through on Monday and by Monday night, we'll start to dry things out and clear things up heading into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So looking at your extended forecast rather, again, some early morning fog possible uh, on Saturday then we'll have temperatures bouncing into the upper 70s and maybe some 80s. Then that cold front comes through. They'll be bringing us our rain chances on Sunday and Monday. And they'll be blowing our temperatures down into the upper 40s as well. But we'll quickly bounce back into the 60s and 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday.